Hello, hello. Welcome to Rise Above at Tammy Lynn. I am Tammy Lynn, and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your life to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. Today, I want to talk to kingdom standards, and particularly the wise. From the very beginning, I knew within me that there were situations in which some of the unthinkable um, situations would be faced. Certainly, adultery, separation, divorce was unthinkable, especially on the day that you made that covenant um, to your husband and before others and before God. But for some, you have had to face another unthinkable situation, and that is regarding a situation with another woman who has conceived a child with your husband. First of all, let me say, I am so super sorry that the enemy has robbed you of the joy that you had on your wedding day. I have received the emails from several who have been facing this situation, which confirmed what I knew from the beginning because the Lord fully prepared me for different situations. And so regardless of the situations, I've never been moved in my spirit. This morning, I was praying for a sister in Christ who has not had to face this unthinkable situation. And as I was praying over this situation, because I know that I know that I know this is a God-ordained covenant. I know that I know that I know that the union between her and her husband was done so by the hand of God. Their marriage their family that they were building it was all orchestrated by God. And unfortunately, hell orchestrated some strategies to bring in a marriage crisis to try to tear down. And I say try to tear down because I know that for many, yes, it's, it's tore down. But I speak with what I know the outcome is because, see, God sits on his throne and he sees what is going on now. But he is also um, focused on the outcome and the outcome is victory and the outcome is restoration. The outcome is the flipping on the script of the enemy. So I speak and I see the outcome, the restoration of it. So I know in the natural it's tore down, but I see God building up what the enemy has tore down. So as I was praying over this situation, I did lift up this child um, that this other woman um, is, is now carrying. And... Um, I just always want to go to God with just a pure heart and just with humility. And I don't want to hinder, hinder prayers um, because of something in my flesh, because of my emotions. I have a righteous anger. It's okay to have a righteous anger. And I'm very angry at what the enemy has done. The crisis, the trauma, the disappointments, the pain that he has brought against um, kingdom families the children that is involved in it, I'm very angry. I have a righteous anger for other people who carry that Jezebel spirit, that covetous spirit, and that they want what someone else um, has. And through them, the enemy is just bringing so much deception and manipulation and just, uh, just the bait of Satan. But I always want to um, pray because I know that this is a spiritual warfare. So I want to be in a position of, of praying with just a pure heart and a righteous anger because it is okay to have that. So with a righteous anger and being disgusted by what, what has happened, I lifted up this child and I told the Lord, I know you love this child. I also know that this child was conceived because the two people being in the flesh. And I know that you will bless this child and you have a plan and a purpose for this child. And as I was just praying over the situation, it came to my spirit and it was pertaining to um, my sister in Christ and her husband. And that it came to my spirit, she is going to be sent away. And immediately the Holy Spirit took me to the story of Abraham and Sarah. And there is a lot of context to it. And the Holy Spirit will, he can just 
bring forth a revelation, a new revelation out of the same context, context depending on the situation, but regarding the situation of kingdom marriages in a crisis, and there is a, another woman involved. Um, I'm going to read a scripture, but let me go ahead and make the declaration that came to me because it burned um, like a fire within me. And I did tell the, give this prophetic word to my sister in Christ, but I also felt um, very strongly that the Lord wanted me to come and um, give this as a prophetic word for all kingdom uh, wives who are standing for the restoration of your marriage, who has had to endure um, just one unthinkable event after another. And now you are facing this situation with this other woman. That is a counterfeit. The other woman's not going to like this message. And if you're listening to this, repent and get off this path that you yourself put yourself on and go where you belong. The Lord will bless you. He took care of Hagar and Ishmael. He has a plan and a purpose. Kingdom wives, she's being sent away. So come with me as we just read um, a few scriptures out of Genesis 21, 9 through 14. And I'm reading out of the NASB version. Now Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had born to Abraham, mocking. Therefore she said to Abraham, drive out this maid and her son, for the son of this maid shall not be an heir with my son Isaac. The matter distressed Abraham greatly because of his son. But God said to Abraham, do not be distressed because of the lad and your maid. Whatever Sarah tells you, listen to her. For through Isaac, your descendants shall be named. And the son of the maid, I will make a nation also, because he is your descendant. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread and a skin of water and gave them to Hagar, putting them on her shoulder and gave her the boy and sent her away. I feel very strongly in my spirit, this other woman is going to be sent away by God. You and your husband was orchestrated by the hand of God. And it is a covenant relationship and God does not change his mind on covenants. He's not a covenant breaking God. He's going to send her away because she is in a counterfeit. And I want to encourage you to let you know that I know that your heart is grieved and only the depth the, of the pain that only your soul really knows, God certainly knows. But many others may not understand the, the depth of that pain within your soul because of having to face this situation. I want to encourage you that the Lord is bringing a divine intervention. He is bringing a turnaround on the situation. Now, your husband is going to return to you because God is going to awaken him and he's going to come to his senses. He's a prodigal. That's why he's with the other woman in the first place. But he's going to come to his senses. There's going to be a divine encounter because he has a call and God is calling him back to him. And God is going to establish him back where he was meant to be. Abraham was distressed because of the situation. I want you to be strong and courageous and I want you to be patient. I want you to be graceful and I want you to be merciful. I don't want you to give the enemy any room to bring any more attacks because it is a difficult situation, but I know that you are strong and I know that you will be able to handle it and to be able to give grace to your husband to know that, I mean, he knows that his poor decision put him in the situation, created the situation. And so nothing can change the fact that, you know, that that is his child. But the Lord is going to turn this around in such a way that the joy that you felt on your wedding day, he's going to give it back to you. And your days are going to be filled with laughter. Many of you cannot even fathom right now how you could possibly handle a return, handle this other situation. You're struggling, like you just want it to be, you just want the situation to be cursed and for it to go away. Sarah wanted it to go away. She wanted her, her pain to go away. 
So she told her husband to send it away. So you have a sister in Christ in the Bible that can relate to your, your pain. Yes, Sarah created, you know, the situation herself through just being impatient through the way and telling her husband to go do this. So again, I mean, there's a lot of context to it. But just regarding this passage, this is the one that I strongly feel that the Lord is wanting you to know that she's being sent away. There is going to be a baby, but you are going to get your joy back. He is going to rebuild your family. Your husband is going to come to his senses. So I'm locking arms with you. And again, I want to encourage you that you are stronger than what you realize. And you can handle this situation. I know in your heart you want your family back. So I must encourage you to just surrender to what this is now. Trust the Lord that he will remove her. She's not the one for your husband. And again, if you're the other woman and you come across this, and I hope you are, you are loved. But you need to get out of the way. And you need to give that wife back what belongs to her. And your obedience will bring the release of your blessings in the future for you and your child. Very difficult topic to talk about. It's not one that um, is joyful at all. It's heavy. It's a heavy conversation. It's a deep conversation. But I speak all this with truth and I speak it with love and an understanding with empathy for what you are having to endure. But honey, you endure it because you're not enduring it alone. You are enduring it with the Lord. And he's going to restore your joy. And your days ahead are going to be full of laughter. Because I decree in the name of Jesus, your husband is coming to his senses. The scales are going to be removed from his eyes. And he's going to return to the Father, return to his call. And he's going to return to you and your family and your children. And my sister in Christ, I was praying for specifically this morning that this revelation came to me, this prophetic word for kingdom standards regarding a situation with an, a, another woman. And if you are a male, you know, the, Lord, the Holy Spirit, um, I believe he'll speak to you because there's another man in this situation. But obviously if there's another man in the situation, it's not regarding a pregnancy. But this is definitely a message directly to wives who have had to endure the other woman. And then on top of that, a pregnancy. The child will be there and God is going to bless that child. But he's removing the other woman. Hagar is being removed. Hagar is being sent away. Hallelujah. So my sisters in Christ, I stand firm with you. I am locking arms with you. I am truly um, disgusted at what the enemy has done to you and to your family. Oh, I was going to say, and I, I need to come back to it. Because when I was talking to my sister in Christ uh, last night, uh, many of you also need to know, because as the Holy Spirit was encouraging her, the situation is bigger than just a marriage restored. This has a great kingdom purpose to it. And this is about the bloodline. Because the enemy first wanted to get your husband off the path. Because he's trying to create that, that spirit of separation, that spirit of division, that spirit of divorce, to bring it into the bloodline. You have children with him. This is a matter of the generations to come. So that's why I encourage you to fight the good fight of faith. Because his salvation is involved with this. And the future of your children is involved with this. So you put those shoulders back. And you hold that head high. And you take authority over this situation. And you refuse to have your children grow up. And then have children. Your grandchildren. And then great grandchildren. And for that spirit of infidelity. That spirit of division. That spirit of divorce. To remain in your bloodline. I decree the blessings of Abraham upon you. And upon your descendants upon your your bloodline and i decree that you all will walk in the blessings of abraham and you all will hunger and thirst for the lord your god all the days of your life that you all together will acknowledge that he is the one and only true god and that you will worship him together so i stand with you and i decree a reverse on the curse that has tried to come against your home 
and your bloodline in Jesus' name. My brothers and sisters in Christ, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. Remain in expectation. God sees you. He is with you. He is for you. And your best days are ahead of you because you are marked for his glory. Hallelujah. Until next time, shalom.